right. Time to get another XCOM campaign going. So, let's see. Uh, there's uh, a lot of mods rolling in this one. Um, uh, I have a link that I'll put down at the bottom of the video. Um, a lot of it is character customization stuff, but there are a few um, things will impact the game, like the squad cohesion. Um, uh, so as they are around each other more, they will occasionally get, eventually get bonuses. Um, the true concealment, so timers don't start while you're concealed because the idea is they don't know you're there. So I think that makes sense. Um, uh, you know, I think like the configurable protect the device because it feels weird when the thing has such low health later in the game and it just blows up instantly if an Andromedon standing on top of it. Um, just had that happen in the past where it's just like I didn't just really think I had a chance to do it. I was only able to get through it because I was, uh, you know, safes coming my way, my way through it. Um, uh, other than that, most of it's just information stuff, like giving me stats on things, uh, making sure I know that they're flanked, things like that. Um, but uh, it's just uh, things I find helpful, because I, I always find it weird when I'm asking, like, is this going to do it or not? Like, you just don't, like, do you know if there's the option to, or what the impact will be on things. Um, will I flank the guy? Well, I would think I could tell if I, you know, could look at it right. Um, other than that, yeah, got a lot of customized characters in there, so it should be fun. Um, I'll do a new game here. Um, I am going to try a, a legend run on this one. Um, see how that goes. Uh, I don't, with all the mods, I'm going to not do Iron Man. Um, that is just because of, uh, there's a lot of things, of bugs that have been caused and things like that I've, I've read. Um, and just don't want that to uh, ruin the whole campaign if that uh, if that comes up. Um, that said, I'm uh, not going to be like savings coming through it or anything. Going to just be uh, rolling with it uh, as is and uh, see how it goes. Uh, we will have the Alien Hunters uh, DLC on and um, see what that does. I don't really know too much about it, so it'll probably kill me. Skip that guy and his little chat stuff. All right. Got one of my Halo helmet people there. Got a uh, little cowboy hat there. I tried to give uh, people uh, the character pool as much personality as possible. Uh, just tried to change it up and not make them just look like real life because then it'd be a whole bunch of just office nerds, which doesn't sound really exciting. So, that's a hmm, that's a flavor in that group there. Got a crazy hockey mask, a cowboy, a, a, a Spartan, and like a cyberpunk. <laughs> Man, I need a new video card. It is just uh, it is struggling with this, isn't it? We're just struggling this bad last time. But man, if I should get one of those new 1080s, it probably solved everything. Alright, so we are concealed. Which is a good thing. Um, I guess we'll have him take a peek. Understood. Moving out. Ooh. Oh, they're right on us. These guys make up the bulk of the advent forces we've dealt with. They're disciplined and well equipped, but their obedience makes them predictable. I don't know how far they're going to be able to get. Uh, that's... that's pretty good cover. Uh, yeah, single door. Gonna have 
two people that probably can't get in the full cover very easily that they pulled back. We want to make sure they're in range of these guys. You walk up, so I'm thinking of just hiding back here. Um, unlikely they'll walk that far. But. Okay. but we will uh, uh, overwatch here. Watch. Let me, see, let me see where they're going. So I'm guessing they're coming. Yeah, they're coming right down here. Mm, didn't move too far. Mm. Oh, that's our range. Ideally, I can just hit all of them with the grenade. Maybe kill a couple. Have Overwatches up. If I put them here, they may be able to run far enough to flank me. But I guess is, is she within grenade range at this point? Uh, not quite, because of the building. Okay. So I might just take the risk, move them here, get the Overwatches up, and hope that they just uh, do everything, but taking a risk this early, ugh. <laughs> Doesn't seem like the right idea, but they were just coming down here, so um, I might just uh, just relax, overwatch another round, and see what happens. Menace one five. You're near the target position. Yeah. Uh, I don't see anything over there, so let's uh. Verstanden. Halte die Augen offen. Affirmative. Cover now. Let's so watch again. See what happens. They come closer, it'll be obviously a lot easier to get them. And they didn't move too far last time, so I don't think they have a huge patrol range. Yeah. See, there we go. Okay. Now. Uh, I think I'm going to throw the grenade with him, and we will overwatch the others. On, overwatch. Uh, that way we'll just kind of have a nice spread right around them, and we should be able to kill the entire group. <laughs> Three damage. Ah, oh, no kills. Oh yeah, yeah. Come on, grenade. That's terrible. Oh. Miss, miss. Oh, and a, finally a hit. Oh, that's not good. Now it's their turn. Oh dear. Flanked. Oof. Okay. Weird that he runs into a complete flank position like that. But, um, we need. Doc to hop in here and finish this guy. Because he's injured, so he's going to be out right away. So if we can get him a, a promotion, that would probably be a good idea. Eighty-four percent. Come on. Oh. 
Alright. Uh, sassy. Come, uh, point blank this guy. Come on. 85%. Can't miss two. Oh. Um. Hmm. Something doesn't feel right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and of course, it's a, like a one shot hit. Great. Um. Uh, yeah. So that was, uh, not overly impressive. Uh, let's see. Are we flanking him if we go here? Says we are. Eighty-one percent. How many of these can we miss? Okay. That is a ugly pack <laughs> for our first one. Uh, I'll move up here, get some reloads in. Because, uh. We'll no doubt be seeing a, uh, another pack here real soon. doesn't end your turn anymore, does it? No. Yeah, thinking of old XCOM. Get everything mixed up. Uh, we'll just scoot it back just to make sure we don't pull something from there. He will still reload. And he overwatches. Okay. Squeeze up. See anything? About sabers move up here. Uh, yeah, we won't do the full push forward. Go up here, get some overwatches up. Um, and Doc will still. So kick it back here. Try and keep him alive. Uh, Overwatch. Uh, Overwatch all. There's the captain. Ah, a hit! Yay! Killed trooper. Okay, good. So apparently he's the only one that will be can hit things. It's good to know. Okay, yes, they run at me. Perfect. Yeah, he's dead. And yeah, he can't hit anything, apparently. Uh, no, I didn't get that other one off. Dang it. Because everyone's got a promotion except him. Alright. So, what we need to do here... ...is... Need to enter him. Eat a grenade. Oh, there's a fire on the spot there, so that's, that's great. What are his chin Oh, 26. That's pretty terrible. This would be a flank shot. Assuming we don't pull anything from over there. Ah, oh. Dude. So close, like one square. And he is flanked. Uh, Hmm. <sighs> I don't want 
for this. Um, what is his chance? 69, 48, 48. Question is, can he run and get the grenade off of this guy? Because the sectoid is probably going to go for a mind thing and not damage. Most likely. Um, but they have a nice little corner on us here. Thinking what we do. We need her to scoot up. 32%, not good. But we really need to get this captain out of here. Please do four damage. There we go. Okay. Now, uh, if he moves here. Can we get the grenade off? Uh, not quite. Ah, dang it. Uh, I'm going to attempt to take the shot on him, because that's the threat. I, just, I don't think the sectoid's going to shoot. Oh, of course, three damage. Can't actually do a kill with this guy. Oh. Uh, take the shot again. Okay. So he, he, he can do full damage. Apparently, Doc, though, can... Ugh. Everything I can here, man. He's getting totally flanked. But yes, he's gonna raise a zombie. Maybe Doc can kill a zombie. <laughs> no respite for the dead. The aliens have found a way to mind control them now. Uh I'll say it's all cover we can't really destroy. Yeah, we're not gonna try doing a digital kill on the no zombie. Problem. We're just going to go after the sectoid here. This is for you. And, yeah, destroy your little statue, too. Boom. He did. Forty-five percent. What's, uh, what sassy got here? Is she... Yeah, we can get a flank shot in here. Probably won't kill him. Definitely. Don't know what this uh, these numbers are down. This uh, little bar thing is. One of the mods, and I'm not sure which one. <laughs> but anyway, let's fire. Oh, and she crits. Okay. Okay, so everyone else is able to kill things except for Doc. Got it. Area is secure. We're not picking up any inbound contacts. Scanners are clear. Menace one five, we have oh. a limited window to act before advent responds. We need to get those charges planted on the double. We'll get that charge planted. I'm assuming you'll give me the items over there. Okay. Mission complete. Everyone else was really rocking there, except for <laughs> except for Doc. He threw that initial grenade, and then just uh, couldn't get out of his head that it didn't kill anybody. Um. Oh, I will keep track of my stats as always. Uh, I write down every single one of these things um, for whatever reason, but uh, it's a, kind of fun to um, to see in the end where everybody is and everything, so... Um, um, just need to... And she... Oh, the button didn't... Well, there initially. Okay, rename this to... Legend Modded 1. 
you know, all my things. I keep track of uh, operation name and successful shot percentage to all this stuff. It's uh, um, it, funny to, to see in the end and be able to have it all for completely nerd reasons that it, it don't probably make too much sense to anybody, but uh, I, I think it makes a lot of sense. So, um, Should I keep track of those things on the right, too? Tell most damage, make most attacks. Hmm. Oh yeah, I have to keep track of, uh, we had, what was it, uh, three, six, eight out of eight were killed. Uh, eight of eight, difficulty note, one wounded. Uh, all right. I won't keep track of things on the right, we'll just uh, let those roll. I just have them on these videos, I could always just look them up if I really felt like it. <laughs> okay, so Doc starts out wounded for nine days. Uh, but he does get a promotion, so I guess injuring enough guys helps him out. Um, and he is my ranger. Okay. Uh, rangers are going to get hurt a lot, so that is expected. Uh, and we did, um, one of the mods we're using is a, um, a sword uh, adjustment. Um, so maybe we'll try it out with him and see how it goes. I mean, I really like the shotguns on those guys. They've been worked really well for me in the past. But uh, the sword can be cool. Just need him to actually work. Okay. He's our sharpshooter. Obviously, going to be using that a lot. Ah, grenadier. That's oh, that's one sassy grenadier. That is for sure. Oh, like a few grenades. That's why they nerfed the heck out of them. So, uh, and our Spartan is our support. Operating some of our most advanced equipment, specialists deploy robotic drones on the battlefield that can be outfitted for combat or field medic duty. Um, okay. Uh, yep, loot, lithium core. Got one of those. Okay, um, no research active. Let's get this rolling. Um, I think the uh, modular weapons make sense. Get that rolling. Find that area of research to be among the more intriguing up engineering. Uh, one of the things we definitely are going to need is uh, a flashbang, pretty much a lifesaver early on, so let's get one of those made. Uh, wait a second on the med kit, because do I need a facility going up? Um, I think this is where we want to get the uh, guerrilla tactics going. Long time in this uh, in this thing, so get that get that building. Um, and smoke grenades. Uh, if there's never really uh, never found too much of a use for them. Just, they just don't seem to work right. But maybe they fix that in some of the patches. Um, and we probably want the med kit for support because uh, otherwise people will just die. So there goes all of our supplies. Time to head to Commander. the Geoscape. Good to see. Uh, unless there are maybe there's maybe they just call it a bridge for now or something. Operations and continue our research. We can pass time by scanning at sites like this one. 
On your order, we'll start our scans on the surrounding area. Commander, one of our resistance contacts Oop. just tipped us off to a site that may be worth investigating. Yeah, we're bored being a scientist? Wow. Well, I'll take a scientist this early. Nice to get that going. Commander, the Avengers Fire axis. scanning <laughs> capabilities will help us search the area for things or other resources. And I like the mod so showing the hours left and stuff, so you have a real good idea on those things. Oh, got my crazy voodoo scientist. <laughs> I will make sure Fire aside side for this. Um, we will go investigate that Avengers, for supplies, since we are out. Uh, definitely never found much use of reason to scan at HQ. Um, it feels like that's... Um, always felt a little strange. Um, and the scientist, we don't have to really do anything with. I think it just automatically applies it, because unless we have a, a lab, we don't... No real purpose for it. Uh, I have made a number of interesting Not sure the weapons complete. Uh, obviously, that would just take an eternity to get, so we're just not there yet. Um, and um, do we need this right now? Materials and get a little vests and maybe a little uh, keep a little bit more survival. Mm. Uh, this is the one of the mods, a little tech tree thing. It's an easy ways to kind of see w what everything gets you. Uh, so modular weapons and how it just connects to everything. Um, that way you're not just looking it up on a wiki all the time, which uh, um, yeah, that's that's happened a lot. Um, so, um, I will, uh, we'll do the hybrid materials, let's get that research going. If we can get make some of those vests, uh, we can use that for maybe like our ranger or something when he gets up there. Let's go take a look at the rest of the soldiers that we have at the moment. Uh, uh these little things that show who you killed and stuff, nice little, uh, nice little uh, wall there. Um, so yeah, we know our, our four up there, so they're all set. Lucky almost back, that's good. Uh, our rookies, we have uh, uh, our our viking. Uh, we have our uh, crazy Conan uh, the face paint. Uh, very serious cynic there. Oh. Nice little summary for a safari. Hunt some people down. Someone uh, eternal, ready to party there, and a rookie of a random name, and so uh, that didn't pull from my character pool, which is funny because I haven't selected to do all that. Maybe I just don't have enough characters or something. But uh, yeah, we would probably just go through and uh, customize that one to a bunch. So. Um, that's that for now. We will scan until we get the next mission here. Is it probably going to pop up imminently? Gorilla, target. Okay. Uh, only one. We get the engineer for it. So, that is. Uh, I did have the mod, I believe, for some extra dark. Uh, for extra vents in these things and stuff, so. Um, Easy, neutralized Advent VIP, VIP on PR tour. Um, let's see, let's write, make sure I write down all the stats on this. Operation Fire Witch. We don't have info on the uh, alien counts or anything, but we do know it is uh, easy. And type, this is a Grill Ops, neutralize Advent VIP. Tour. Okay. Um, as far as the group, um, we'll probably want to keep that main group where we have people. We have uh, one of our rookies filled in here, that being uh, Longhorn. So that should work. Uh, let's see. Our specialist. Probably good to get that med kit in there. Uh, so if someone does take a hit, we can uh, not feel quite so afraid for our lives. Um, let's see, if we take a 
take a look at him. Should we keep that armor on or should we go with the resistance one? What does that look like? Uh, yeah, I'll go back to that. The custom that's weird, like the resistance armor because this way it's not an option in the character customization, it ends up just looking a little strange at the end. Um a sniper he'll pretty much be getting held back a lot and stuff. Um so we've got those those grenades there. Love having the two grenades on those grenadiers, it's just uh just great. Um actually we'll give him the EMP uh or the flashbang, should I say. It's just because uh, of the extra range on it, you can probably move up and use it if needed. Um, we'll just try and keep him from falling too far back. Not like his uh, aim is too great this early on, anyway. Um, these some of the mods you can see. You can see their abilities and see what their stats are just by looking down below. Which is uh, handier, I suppose, to opening up every single character and figuring it out at one at a time. Um, okay, that's, uh, that's the group. Um, this uh, should be easy as we start uh, getting everyone leveled up, and that's it. See you next time.